examples. Uh. Let's see the notes. Uh. Okay, the examples. Uh, okay, okay, the example is this one. Uh. Okay, examples. So we are discussing these four examples now. Label all the forces exerted on the following object. Okay, uh, first of all, okay, there's a pulling force. Uh. There's a pulling force. So we let's right here and then it's a pulling force uh, F uh, the symbol is F given here okay the pulling force uh, apply force the symbol is F okay uh, let's say this is a smooth table smooth table means there's no frictions uh, okay so we don't need to you don't need to label the frictions uh, okay so smooth table no frictions uh, what else what other forces that act on this object any idea The weight, okay, that's correct. Because anything's on the surface of Earth has weight. Eh? The weight act vertically downwards. Weight, okay. Uh, actually, there is one more force. Eh? There's one more force except on this uh, object. Okay, one more force. Um, the weight, that's the W, the weight. Okay, acting vertically downwards towards the centers of the Earth. There's one more uh there's one more force that act on this object that is the normal reactions by the table the tape this object press on the table the table give a norm a normal reaction back to this object eh? okay so this uh that there, there is a normal reactions this normal reactions act on this object as well okay uh the normal reaction is pressing on this object eh? and is uh acting upward and it's denoted by symbol R. Uh, normal reaction is denoted by symbol R. Okay, so this object press on the table, the, play, the table push the object upwards. Eh? So that is the normal reactions. Normal reaction is a pushing force. It push the object upwards. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay, this one with frictions, I think let's change it to without frictions. Huh? Without. Without frictions without frictions eh? okay okay so for this one eh? okay these are the forces that act on this object there's a pulling force to the right and there's weight which weight, weight usually we label uh, is act on the center of the object eh? the centers of gravity so we, we we draw it here this is the centers of the object eh? so the weight is from the centers of the object okay uh, there's a weight and then there's a normal reactions pushing this object upwards Okay, now that is an object here. Okay, it rests uh, stationary on an inclined surface. Okay, so tell me, what's the force that act on this object? What's the force of forces that act on this object? Okay, weight. Yes. And uh, weight always acting vertically downwards, right? Okay, weight acting. Okay, so this is weight. What else? Normal reactions, yes. Normal reactions is always 90 degree with the surface. Eh? Okay, 90 degree with the surface. Because... Uh, because this block press on the surface, uh, this surface, this surface will push it backwards. So this is called the normal reactions, okay? And uh, uh, we need one more force, uh, because or else it will slide, it will slide down. We, okay, we need to have one more force to hold it here because it's stationary, yeah, not moving. So we need to have an apply force, uh, pushing, pushing it up, apply force. Um, You need to have an apply force, push it upwards. Okay. Uh, if if you want to include friction, also can, okay? So you can say there's a frictions if you want, eh? okay? You want to include frictions. Uh, that is frictions. There's frictions. Okay. If you don't want to include frictions, then you can say there's an apply force pushing this object upwards. So these are the forces that act on this object. Okay. Weight 
act, act, uh, act vertically downwards, normal reactions, 90 degree with the surface, and uh, pushing force or frictions. 